The Frill Dragon, also known as Frill Lizards or Frill Ligama or Frillies. This species can be found in extreme southern New Guinea and northern coastal Australia. Now they get their name, the Frilled, uh, obviously right there because they have frills. Now this is a defense mechanism so I would make a note that do not do this to get your animal upset. These guys also run on their hind legs and do not get that mixed up with the Jesus Lizard. Now the Jesus Lizard does run on water it's also a basilic totally different animal totally different environment everything t just completely different so back to the frilled then the size of the frilled this is where some tricky comes in the australian can grow up to three feet in males and the new guinea version as you see mainly in the pet stores as this handsome fellow right here grow anywhere from two to two and a half in males that's feet that is now the diet of the frilled should compromise of insects such as silkworms, crickets, nubia roaches, waxworms, mealworms, and the occasional pinky mouse. You're betting for the frilled, I find out that cocoa fiber and eco earth works wonders. Also leave that at a two inch depth, please. The heating of the frilled. Uh, you want to require some good UVB source, fluorescent or mercury vapor will work just fine, and a basking bulb for heat. Now the basking lamp should be 115 degrees, yes I said it, 115 degrees on a branch. But don't put that too close to the branch, 115 degrees in a branch doesn't work out too well. 85 to 90 degrees throughout the cage and a nighttime temperature of 75 to 80 degrees. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I absolutely love frill dragons. They make wonderful pets. Well you guys, that's about it. So it is time to go and we will see you guys next Wednesday. So remember to hit like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, watch us on TikTok and we'll see you next week. I just forgot another vacation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you guys. Have a good one. Bye.